Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Structural RV here in Federal, Colorado. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I did. We were at the Speedway yesterday. We sponsored the Truck Fest and it was an amazing day. So today I want to take you guys through this 2007 Kenworth T300. This one is the Shrubby Hauler. Going to go over some of the features on there. Again guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the comment slot below or you guys could give us a call at the end of this video email text whatever you guys decide to do so as we go over this unique truck as you guys can see the condition of a 2007 is pretty pretty awesome like having an older vehicle like this in great shape like it is right now it's totally amazing so first of all let's come and take a look up front It is a Kenworth, so you have that Kenworth badge up front here. You got a nice, awesome grill. Chrome bumper. This one does have a little step here, and that's for more support when you're opening the hood. Compared to the Freightliner, the Kenworth hoods are a little bit harder to open in terms of weight. So this step here is an addition to help you pull that hood open. Before I open that hood, I want to show you the headlights. This one does come in fog lights as well. We got two tie downs on either side, just like the Freightliner hood. Make sure you unclip that before you open the hood or else you'll be struggling. And of course, once you're done, ensure that both of those straps are down because are strapped in because you don't want this heavy hood just opening while you're driving on the freeway. So again, it might be a little bit tough to open, so that's what that step is for. And you allow that to open. When this unit came in, we did run it for our service department. We made sure everything is in working condition. Oil change, made sure there was no leaks, no air leaks, no fuel leaks, no transmission leaks. Any recalls that were on there, we made sure there were no recalls. And what you guys are looking at right now is the Cummins 8.3 liter engine. It's also partner with the Allison 5-speed automatic transmission. This unit produces about 315 to 330 horsepower and about 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Nice clean engine. Again, for 2007, it's in pretty good shape. I want to show you guys something on the other side of the hood. Because this hood is so heavy, closing it will be a little challenge as well. So if in case you are working on there and you know there's a big wind storm, there is a protective lock right here. So if I try to close the hood, it will not close. So if in case you purchase this vehicle or you have one like this and you open it for the first time and you kind of close it, they will have some kind of safety feature on here. So with right here, all you guys got to do is unlock it and then close the hood. And again, this hood is a little bit heavy, so just be gentle. And make sure you lock both sides before taking off. This unit is pre-def, so there's no def fluid on this one. Unique here, we got two 56 gallon tanks. 56 on this side, 56 on the other. So a total of 112 gallons. Right on the side there between the fender and the step. You have your engine block heater. And again, it's clearly labeled, engine heater. You got your tow mirrors. This one does come equipped with a CB radio. So there is double antennas on that. Below the step here is our access to the batteries. We got a huge storage box, one on either side. 
We do have an air supply in here and a extinguisher, fire extinguisher. Dual tires in the back. Those tires are in pretty great shape. Those are Bridgestone tires, 255, 70R22.5s. Nice clean bed. Of course, this one does have the hookup for a gooseneck ball, but this air ride hitch has the capability of transforming this into a fifth wheel. So there is an adapter that goes in the back end of this. This is not included with this truck, but we have our parts department. We could order that for you if you need that fifth wheel attachment. We do have a seven pin hookup here for your trailer up top. This one does come in for bumper pull hitch. And of course you have your seven pin hookup here for your trailer. This one does come in for dual exhaust. Of course it does have that extra storage box here as well. Something unique to this one, you guys can see the cab is a little bit longer. So this one does come with three rows. And as I open up that door, let's look at the passenger door first. So the front seats are air ride for both driver and passenger. And then I'll open that back door. You have two single seats in the, in the middle and then you have a red bench. And that bench, once you remove those headrests, it falls into a bed, but the headrest has to be removed first. So let's take a look inside. See all that space we have. Again, there's so much room here. If the passenger decide, you know, if you guys are parked, all doors are locked. You still have access to the back, in and out from the front to the back, you know, while the driver is driving and the passenger decide he or she wants to go back there and take a, a rest. It's very easy to just jump through in the center and head to the back. Again, this could sit seven people if you're going on a family trip or if it's just a, a smaller family, you could transform the back into a bed and then leave the four seats open for for sitting. There's tons of speakers around here. So for entertainment, we got speakers on the side of the driver panel. And then all the way to the back, there's speakers on each panel you're looking at. So there's about one, two, three, four, five, six speakers just hooked up on the side panels. The back window does have a shade you could close to avoid light coming in and then the side windows as well. Tons of lighting throughout the cab. We do have entertainment here for the kids or your passengers. DVD player, CD goes right above here. Again, up front, there's so many different switches here and it might look a little bit different for what you're accustomed to seeing but it's kind of cool to have those here. So we're gonna start off with the engine brake. This is the engine brake switch. Cruise control buttons, so to turn it on, to set it, and of course, adjust as needed. The horn, we do have dual horns up top. So with the regular switch here, you could turn that horn into an electric horn or the air horn just by a flip of a switch. So right now it's an electric. You'll hear the regular horn. If you flip it up to air, uh, <laughs> then you have that. Uh, it kind of sticked on me a little bit. So, so you have that. So again, right here, you got your fog light switch. You got a few spare switches here, but two of them are activated. Uh, you have the the switch for the back of the cab for when you're going in here. You got a switch for your backup camera. 
and then you have the lighting inside the cab one of those switches here and then we have one auxiliary switch that don't turn on anything so as you guys can see and again we can label those switches for you just so you know where those switches are you do have your red differential lock your axle lock as well all your AC controls down here you have your wiper blades switch right here your Allison 5 speed automatic transmission this is your air parking brake so this one is air brakes so this is to release your air brake or to engage your air brake down here is your trailer brake system tons of storage here cup holders nice little glove compartment in here as well so there's tons of stuff I mean this truck just looks amazing for being a 2007 so if you guys are interested in this unit we have all the information online you could go to transwest.com stock number is 5U220371 and you could contact me directly my name is Marlon Bledman 303-684-3412 or you could text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344 or you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com I want to thank you guys for tuning in today this unique 2007 Kenworth Schwabi hauler on the market right now ready to test drive if you guys are willing to come in and test drive this unit but in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in today and I want to thank you guys again for all your business and of course hopefully we have your business in the future thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time thank you